Hey everyone, Slice Sanders. So today I'm doing a Q&A. I recently just hit 1,000 subscribers and as the 1,000 subscriber special, I thought it'd be fun to do a Q&A. Ultimately, it was up to see how many questions were actually asked to me, but I think there's enough to where I can make a video out of it. Real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who's been following along with me on this journey. For those who've been following me for a while and those who've been following along uh, recently, just, just thank you. I, I'm excited to see where the channel goes. I, I have some new ideas I'm trying to implement later on down the line. But ultimately, I just, I enjoy watching anime, so i glad that some of you like my reactions to it, so. <laughs> the first question is by Christian. Christian Nathaniel S, and sorry if I pronounce any of your names wrong. Congratulations for 1K subs. Maybe my question is, what is your first anime and why? To my recollection, my first anime that I've ever watched that I considered it anime was actually Soul Eater. I think I watched it when I was like 13. But I actually watched anime technically prior because of Toonami. Toonami was on Cartoon Network and they had series like Blue Dragon, Pokemon, uh, what else was on? I think Mar was actually on there. And I watched those not knowing it was anime at the time. I considered them cartoons. And yeah, I guess, I guess you could say those were my earliest anime. <laughs> the next question is by Dragshift. Dragshift says, congratulations on 1,000 subs, man. My question is, did you have a good day? I, I, I am having a good day. I'm recording this in the morning, so my day has just begun, but uh, I hope you're having a good day, and uh, thank, you for, thank you for asking. The next question is by LOL what? what? What's the top five anime you've reacted to on the channel so far? Um, so top five, I would say. So after contemplating for roughly five minutes off camera, I decided that my top five favorite anime that I've watched so far is probably gonna be Chainsaw Man, Classman of the Elite, Kaguya Sama Love is War, Steins Gate, and probably coming at number one was Bimo Shuko Tensei. That has the most memory of, of me. It was one of the first series I've reacted to on this channel and it's just kind of stuck with me. Uh, throughout and throughout and I'm, I can't wait for season two coming up in July. The next question is by Simviation. Top five items to do on your bucket list. Well, my number one would probably be to travel. I'd like to go to a few countries that I've had planned for a while now. I just haven't gone. I'll probably go in the next few years or so. I think skydiving would be a fun experience. I have a fear of heights. So, well, sort of. The ground from here, from my standpoint to the ground, it, it, I kind of get like Another thing would probably be to run a marathon. I've ran a half marathon prior once and it was, it, it, it killed me. I guess adding on to the traveling aspect, I'd like to live in another country for at least a year to experience a different culture. After contemplating for some time, I've decided number five option I'd like to do is learn a foreign language. Ooh, that took, that was probably the longest thinking question that, I, I, that I've had to answer so far. So Nora asked Hoyo, if, if I pronounced that right, the guys who made Genshin Impact is releasing a new anime game called Hunkai Star Rail on April 26th, two days from now. Well, yes it is. I actually just downloaded it right here. If you go to hsrhoyoverse.com, enter in your login credentials, and you also download the game, enter in code ROSE for a 10% discount on the future. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely kidding. Do not do that. I, I was I was just kidding. Don't. There's no discount. I'm not this sponsored. This, this video is not sponsored by Hoyo Rail. However, I did start playing it. I downloaded it for a little bit, and it's actually it's actually kind of fun. I, I don't. I have never played one of the anime mobile games before, so I wanted I wanted to try it out. But your question is, what games do you play? Currently, I'm not playing anything particular right now, just because all my free time and all the the time I have is dedicated to editing and making YouTube videos. I actually have played. Uh, Leaf Green recently. I, w I was actually thinking about selling it and I decided to test out to see what my old Pokemon were. So I guess before I went off to college, I played a ton of video games. I downloaded Steam and I had it like over 50 Steam games. I don't know if that's a lot or a little compared to what some other people play. But no, I guess I haven't played too many games recently. I guess if I had to say it would be Pokemon Leaf Green, Minecraft, and Skyrim. That's kind of like a weird combination of mix. Musical Attitude asks, how old are you and what do you do other than anime? Well, I'm 24. I currently work security and do a couple other things uh, part-time right now. And what I do besides anime, I guess I also write in my free time as well. I, I wouldn't say novel. I guess it's more so, uh, it's not really a script either. The next question is by T. Roranor. T. Roranor? Congratulations on 1K. I suppose my question would be, any anime character you find to be particularly relatable? Hmm. See, that's a tough one. I don't have any tragic or sad backstory, so I feel like I can't relate to a lot of the, the common main protagonists in anime. I would say maybe Okabe Rintaro. Not so much more as his ideals of fighting against a particular organization, nothing along those lines, but I guess one of the things I liked about his character the most is the fact that how much he valued his close intertwined group of people and that he would really do anything for them. I, I think that's actually a, a very good trait. I 
have a close knit group of friends I care a lot about and uh, I would do a lot for them. So I think that that's the most I can relate to. So I have two questions from a previous post uh, that I asked a few weeks ago. Uh, same question, another question by Norwa asked, how did you get into anime? What are your thoughts on anime as a culture? Um, how did I get into anime? That's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I got an anime kind of related back to Toonami. I watched them as more so cartoons growing up. I didn't really know it was anime. I can't speak for everyone, but I think a lot of people in my generation got introduced to anime in the form of it being presented as cartoons out in the West. That culture wasn't really heavily anime influenced. And as more people realized that it was anime culture from Japan, they started wanting to watch more of it. They got more into it. And as you can see now, there's a huge influx within the anime culture of people being more uh, accepting toward anime, I want to say. I feel like when I was growing up, it wasn't really accepted or you would be considered weird to watch it. And I didn't really tell a lot of people when I was uh, younger that I watched anime. The next question is by Makako. <laughs> Redheads or blondes? Analyzing your anime history, you liked Eris and Karisu, and you didn't tell the anime audience that you're a big investor. You're open about Rose Enterprises. You have a butler, Alfred. I don't have a preference. Well, I probably prefer redheads over blondes. I, I do small time investments within the stock market, but nothing, nothing crazy. And no, I don't have a but I don't have a butler named Alfred, but I appreciate the Batman reference. And there we go. That is it. That is all the questions. I appreciate everyone who asked those questions. Hope you got to know a little bit more about me, and uh, I will see everyone in the next upload. But until then, see ya. And because I did promise a while ago, there's one more question by Makako. I think it's asked too much, but it would be really funny to see you try and pronounce Portuguese. I've seen people pronounce my nickname, which is easy, but I have never seen a foreigner pronounce a difficult sentence like a tongue twister. I would like to see you speak a tongue twister. I think it might be fun. I think, I think you might find it humiliating to pronounce something difficult, but I wouldn't put anything weird. Oh, sebia no sabia. What? Keo sebia no sebia sebia. Sebia is. Bird species, Sebio is new, no, Sebio is wise. So I guess the translation would be, you are one wise bird species? Or bird special. K, K, O, Sebio, now Sebia, Sebia. Yeah, I butchered it. I know, I know, I butchered it. I know, okay? <laughs>